28th of March 2012. There was water, water everywhere with some of the heaviest flooding in recent memory. Over 200 millimetres of rain fell in just two days. That's over a third of our annual rainfall. The Shoalhaven, <coughs> the Shoalhaven River rose very fast, quickly covering the jetty and low-lying areas. In our exclusive footage, you can see how within minutes, wombat holes were completely inundated. With even their emergency holes flooded, they sought refuge in the shearing shed. As the leaves begin to turn, the locals turn on the heating. A second Morso wood-burning stove was installed in the lounge room. Unlike the Morso squirrel in the kitchen, this one is ribbed for extra pleasure. A devastating attack on Mother Hen has left her severely traumatised. A warning, some viewers may find the following vision distressing. A vicious dog attack left Mother Hen with only half a wing and her back severely chewed. Having survived the shock, she is now recovering well. Tammy and David Cashin visited the farm, bringing with them much needed skills. Tammy was a deft hand shucking oysters and delivering tea, while David pegged out and wove the new willow fence on the eastern side of the veggie patch. Mount Kosciuszko was no match for the locals and cake of orange. Starting on the wild banks of the Snowy River, they clambered across wild terrain before reaching the summit of the highest peak in Australia, some 2,228 metres above sea level. And then they took the chairlift down the mountain. And now it's a segment you've all been waiting for, Trim Time. Trim chewed a stick and a chicken. She rode in the ute into town and barked feverishly to warn wombats of impending flooding. And now for the weather. Heavy rain dropped four months worth of rain in just two days. The Bombay Bridge was impassable for over three days. Temperatures have been mild with highs in their low 20s and lows in the high fives. And that's it for Riverbend News for this edition. See you again next time.